How to use stand store as a beginner. Hey everyone, welcome. We hope you're all doing great. In this video, I'll show you step by step how to do so. This is going to be a tutorial that is going to showcase the basics of stand store, how to get started, how to set things up, and what you actually can use it for. Now, we are going to start with the last thing that I've just said, which is what you can actually use stand store for. And you can actually see it in the home page itself. And by the way, the home page is stand.store. So just go to stand.store to get started and follow me through the tutorial. Now, the, you can actually go ahead and use stand store for many different reasons. Now, it is mostly known as a link in bio uh, service, but it is more than that because, because it's going to allow you to sell a lot more stuff. For example, you can create courses and sell them. You can uh, create your own products and sell them or, you know, just sell the products that you have. There's plenty that you can actually do with Stand Store and you can actually see it in here. A simpler solution. No more paying for five plus different apps. Stand brings it all home and you can actually see a uh, link in bio for mobile optimized. Uh, link in bio store, automated calendar invites and bookings, uh, community subscriptions course builder, email list, and the list goes on. So there's going to be plenty to choose from. Now I need to note something that is very important. Uh, Stand Store is not a free platform. You're going to have to pay $30, $30 a month for it, but you can start 14 days for free just to test out the uh, elements that are provided with Stand Store. Now you may think $30 a month is uh, kind of a lot, but if you can actually go ahead and manage uh, your work and there you'll be making a, a whole lot more than just $30. So uh, we can just start by going to stand.store and just click on sign up. Now we can just start for the 14 days free trial for the time being. And it's just going to show, show us exactly what we can do with the stand store. So just click on sign up now. And this is going to take us to the signing up process. So here you just need to fill in your information and we can just go ahead and continue from there. Then after you enter your basic information, you will also need to add your card uh, information. It's not going to take money from you if you're starting the uh, trial, but you can also feel free to cancel at any time. But it is required for you to do just to prevent, uh, you know, unnecessary accounts and stuff. I, I'm not really sure, but you, you actually need to add your card information. So once you do that, you can just click on start your 14 day free trial and you will be good to go. And it's going to take you to the dashboard. So let's just go ahead and get there and show you what you need to do next. Okay. So once you're uh, done with your signing up process, you're going to be greeted with this uh, basically set up uh, tutorial or little uh, things that you will need to basically finish. For example, you will start with the profile picture. You will need to add your profile picture by just clicking on that and you can feel free to add your image. I'm just going to go for this one for the time being, even though it's not going to fit, but I'm just going to use it anyway. And you basically just wanted to add yours. Uh, obviously, you would want to prefer to go for the profile picture that people know you best by. If you have, for example, social media and you want to send people from social media to your stand store, try to match it with that profile picture. And then next up, speaking of which, we're actually going to be adding our socials. So you just click on add your socials and click on add social links, and you'll be able to add social links to your uh, Instagram, TikTok, and also more stuff, for example, your YouTube channel, Facebook, uh, and so on. So there's going to be plenty of things that you can link uh, to your uh, stand store, because like we said, most importantly, Stand Store is going to be a link in bio. So you could think of it as you put a main link on your socials, and that is going to include pretty much all other links that you have. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, skip this if I can. If not, I'm just going to add a few. Okay, and just I'm going to hit save. And exit out of here, and we can just go in and set up uh, our next step, which is going to be setting up our direct deposit. So in here, you obviously would want to set up how you want to get paid. So just click on set up direct deposit. Or if you want to skip that for the time being, you, know, you can also feel free to do it from here. Just click on skip. But once you actually open this up, you're going to basically uh, create or set up your Stripe account. It's going to be using Stripe. So just click on create my stand Stripe account. Click on that. 
is going to take you to the next steps in order to connect both Stripe and Stand Store. And this is pretty much how you'll be able to uh, receive or earn money with Stand Store. I'm actually going to skip this step right now because this is not my actual account and I'm not going to be linking a uh, my Stripe account with this sample or test Stand Store. But for you, you will need to actually go ahead and create and follow the steps in order to create Stripe and connect it with Stan. Uh, once you are happy with that, you can actually, you can actually just go in and skip this. Or uh, if you finish it up, you can just click on next step. And it's going to take you to creating your first product. And we can either do it right away or we can just go to my store here and set up more things first. Okay, so once you click on my store, this is going to open up for you. And this on the right side here, which looks like a mobile view, is pretty much the preview of your store. This is how people are going to uh, see your store. So you can feel free to adjust how it actually looks like first before adding products and so on. Now, there, you're going to have two different options, either add product here or add section. So you can also do so as well. But I'm going to talk about that in a little bit. But here you can also feel free to add uh, your socials uh, from uh, down in the settings, I believe. Or you can just click on here somewhere and you can add your socials if you want. And you can also feel free to add your bio. So I just typed in hello, this is a test. And I'm just going to go ahead and click on save. And obviously, if you add more socials, it's going to be added in here as well. Now we can also click on edit design from the top here. And this is going to basically allow us to customize how this is actually going to look like. And there's going to be plenty of different uh, customization options to choose from. First, we're going to go for a template that we think is going to uh, look better or best for us. And then we can feel free to adjust the colors of it. I'm just going to stick to this, but you can obviously feel free to change the font and the colors for that template. Click on save once you're happy with it and you can just go back and you can actually see that the changes have been applied. And now lastly, we can actually go ahead and add finally add a product by cl clicking on add product from my store section, which is going to pr uh, pretty much open this up for you. And in here, you can obviously uh, select the type of products that you want. So whether it's going to be digital products, uh, collect emails, courses or coaching, coaching calls, and you can also do more stuff here. Uh, for example, community, uh, you can have some sort of a subscription, uh, re recurring membership, this is the subscription one, you can also link uh, or add a link as a product stand affiliate link, which is different, this is going to be for the affiliate program. We have also webinars or custom products. So that is also uh, available if you want. And really each Every, each uh, product that you want to add is going to have different little tweaks to it. So courses are not going to be the same as digital products, obviously. Uh, but for the sake of it, I'm just going to go for the digital product, for example. And then here we can just feel free to uh, first adjust the uh, style of the button here. So whether it's going to be a button, call out or preview. Remember, this is going to actually uh, be on your store. So it's going to uh, be visible for people on the a link in bio store that we just saw. Uh, so I'm just going to leave it as call out here. And I'm just going to leave the image as it is because I don't, uh, you know, I don't really want to take up uh, much time here. But if you want to change that, you can just click on uh, choose image here. And then we can also feel free to add a title for the product, obviously, a subtitle, which is going to be a little description here at the bottom. And we can also add the button text. So whether it's going to be download now, we can just do get it now or something. And then we just click on next. And in here, we can also feel free to uh, set up the checkout page, which is going to be where people are going to finalize the process of buying the product. So there's going to be uh, a lot more to it. So you can actually set up the description title, description body, and also button title, call to action button, which is right here at the bottom. We can't really see that for the time being. Uh, and then we can also set up the price points here. So we can actually go ahead and change that to $10, for example. And if you want to set up a discount price, you can turn this on and add the discount price. And then we can obviously just click on, um, after we are done here, we can just click on upload here at the bottom, which is going to be the actual product and click on publish and it should be available on our store. 
so this is pretty much how it's actually going to work for you and for uh stand store so add your products add your um everything here elements the uh adjust how the store is actually going to look like your socials and you're good to go and you can just feel free to go to settings to adjust more stuff there as well so hopefully you found this video to be helpful and thanks for watching